Cheers to my man Detlev over there in Germany. He messaged me asking if I'd like to have some helmets for my crescent figures. He said that he'd gotten some distance out of using these round helmets issued with these Onkin space figures and just sent me a box full of stuff. There we go. At some point I'll get busy with the drill and widen the holes in the bottom to fit over the crescent heads. Happy little things. These are and these are all trinkets I can put into my artwork. Thank you so much. It's kind of cool. Can whoa, those are cool. Huh. Interesting. Ah, that's kind of cool. Uh, but then showed me his sheet of extras that he had and said, what do you want? And I'm like, you're kidding me. So there's no more of these plastic crap copies. He sent me a link to a, a blog, uh, I think, that explains what they are. And another one. Yeah, there's the one I didn't have. Look at that. If my understanding is correct, the figures were made for a company called Linda, which is a German coffee substitute beverage. Made all sorts of bling as premiums, not my collection. That left sent along a link to a website which gives a rundown of the Linda figures. These are from the science fiction series, originally issued with helmets. I'll link it in the uh, description and indeed they are taking the form of plastic craft spacemen from the 1950s. Plastic craft made a grand total of six poses for their hard plastic spacemen and right now I'm wondering if there's a chicken egg relationship going on here. Which came first? To make matters even more complicated a third company called Rigel R-I-G-L also manufactured the poses and any of the three specimens I'd have from previous transactions may be some of those. All here seen with two of the plastic crafts in hard plastic from the uh, 1950s. They're wearing helmets borrowed from Mark's Rex Mars official Planet Patrol 70 millimeter figures just to simulate what they might look like in their complete form. The Lindas would have had helmets as well. The Poplar Toys clone of a Thomas Toys Space Cop. Thomas Toys Spaceman designs are in my top five favorites, and by extension, Poplar are as well. It's a quiet menace about them. Here's our new boy with some other specimens from my stash. There's a female Ajax copy reproduced as a parachute jumper. It's a stiff dense plastic rather than the brittle hard plastic that Ajax used. I need some plong and gold that I can paint or do something to. This is interesting. Is it a copy or is it original? It is a copy. Likely copy of a LP Toys pistol guy with painted face. This was something that I was very stoked. I, it's like, I've never seen that before. Dull Cop Spaceman out of Italy. I'll have to learn more about these. That's cool. This is fascinating. A French Bonux spaceman in a seated pilot position. Fascinating. Fantastic figure. Bonux spacemen were made as a promotional premium for a washing powder detergent. Not sure exactly when they were manufactured, but no collector of vintage plastic spacemen should be without a stash, that's for sure. Our boy turns up here on this row. And unlike the others from the series, this pose does not have the name Bonux prominently displayed on the leading edge of the support base. It looks like Rolf Hutter from Kraftwerk. The other See Kraftwerk dressed up as Beastman. That's just fantastic. He's missing his uh, fitted helmet, of course. Mark W. Germany. I would love to learn more. Point me to your to your blogs and your websites.
German-made spacemen. These are in fantastic condition compared to the one this year on the left. Definitely the same line. There's our Germany. Here's the other dude. Interesting how he's just in such a different scale. And here's a look at them with the Rex Mars helmets, just to simulate what they might look like complete. Although I know purists will object. On we go. All right, so here's everything all at once. And three cheers to my man that love over there in Germany. That's like a, it's like a whole instant collection. Straight up space figures in the back. The Onkin figures are just a riot and not the sort of thing I would have sought out on my own. So three cheers, bro. Here in the front, they're, you know, they're, they're twisted. Uh, but I like the book guy. And whatever this thing is, now I've been debating it. I, I it, It's got to be either a donkey or a cow. Or it's not funny. It wouldn't be funny funny if that's a dog and it's only funny if that's like a cow a space cow with two matadors I don't even know what that is Some gremlin prince two space penguins they're fascinated by the weapon he's on the lookout and these guys are about ready to get into it up here and then Pilot! Pilot! Pilot. She's definitely missing a lanyard loop from her top knot. He's definitely missing a antenna post from his top knot, and I care not. They're, they're beautiful. I'll paint them. That's why he sent them to me, to make art with this stuff, although I'm just not going to be touching those three. And... Those two are nice as well. Dull Cup from Italy over there on the end. And a Bonux. Bonux and Comanzi. They must have had the same sculptor. Sorry, we can't get a better view of it from this angle. They rule. And hey, remember her? I did get busy and tried painting her with some of my Golden's acrylics made by Golden Artist Colors. Trying to keep it minimal as possible, utilizing an iridescent stainless steel and iridescent copper for the most part. Scrounged up a helmet from another figure and we're keeping her face the original green color. And here she and Luke are holding off uh, opposing forces while he waves in Lando. Yo, over here! And of course he can't resist but to talk her up while they wait. Why don't we go back to my place and I'll show you my lightsaber collection. Oh, 